Welcome back to Frontline News. I'm Sasha Lee Hamilton. It's now time for Frontline Business. The first Jamaica Survey of Establishments report was launched on Wednesday. The 2018 report is an initiative that was executed under the Planning Institute of Jamaica's Foundations for Competitiveness and Growth Project. The report is intended to provide empirical data on the total number of establishments participating in commercial business and other similar engagements across Jamaica. This is expected to assist the public and private sectors in strategy, policy and program formulation. The survey's findings will be used as an input for the Statistical Business Register, which is maintained by the Statistical Institute of Jamaica. The lawsuit Digicel brought against the government of Antigua and Barbuda has officially ended following a court hearing on Monday. Lawyers for both parties declared their agreement to have the spectrum shared with the Antigua Public Utilities Authority. The court accepted the position of Digicel and the government. Minister of Information Melford Nicholas says the court is awaiting the signing of the consent order presented by both parties. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark announced Wednesday that businesses will soon be able to use money owed to them as collateral. He says a team was appointed to look into the matter last year and its recommendation is being considered. Everywhere else in the world, you know, uh, or certainly in mature economies, asset-backed financing is a reality. If you have a business in Florida or in Europe, and your assets constitute receivables and inventory, you can access financing on those assets and on those assets only. In Jamaica, to do so, you'd have to do so by virtue of something they call a debenture, which is a whole, is like taking a hammer for a small problem. He argued that receivables and inventories are the largest assets of most firms. In Thursday's trading session, the JSC Combined Index declined by 1,864 points to close at over 500,000. Overall market activity resulted from trading in 64 stocks, of which 29 advanced, 27 declined, and 8 traded firm. The Junior Market Index advanced by 21 points to close at 3,431. Stocks advanced for 1834 investments, Barita Investments, Caribbean Cream, Derriman Trading, and Elite Diagnostic. Stocks declined for Berger Paints, Caribbean Cement, Caribbean Producers, Carreras Limited, and Dolphin Cove. Trading firm were 138 Student Living, Access Financial Services, Blue Power Group, Consolidated Bakeries, and Lasco Manufacturing. Carreras Limited was the volume leader with almost 87 million units, followed by Wigton Wind Farm Limited Ordinary Shares with nearly 30 million units and Grace Kennedy Limited with over 14 million units. News in Oil Oil was largely flat on Thursday after a Pentagon statement intensified concerns of a Middle East conflict disrupting supply, supporting prices while new details connected to the impeachment inquiry into U.S. President Donald Trump weakened demand sentiment. Brent crude futures settled at $62.74 a barrel, or 35 cents. U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude settled at $56.41 a barrel, down 8 cents, after briefly turning positive following the Pentagon statement. And that's it for Frontline Business. I'm Sasha Lee Hamilton. Pleasant viewing.